Hello, my Aquarians. How are you? Your birthday was last month. How was it? Well, my name is Misty the Mystic. The angels and guides have helped me to create Sugarfoot Tarot. And this is your Angel Blessings, March 2019. Very cool. I have Dharma here, my sidekick. My IET Energy Angel Healing Angels over here. Of course, our angels and guides are with us. Uh, please check your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus sign, because there are love readings in some of these readings. Thank you for visiting. I really appreciate it. Please vi visit as many uh, readers, astrologically, astronomy, numerology, or as much as you can about plants and crystals. Anything that help you understand yourself and others will make a better world. All my information is below. And I'm trying to shorten my beginnings because I sometimes I talk four minutes. So I want to shorten them really quick. Um, for March, March 5th on Tuesday, we have Fat Tuesday, which is Mardi Gras. Uh, Wednesday is our new moon and Ash Wednesday. The 10th is on Sunday. It is uh, in March. It is our uh, daylight savings. We spring our clocks forward. The 17th, of course, is St. Patrick's Day. The 20th is our full moon and the spring equinox. It's the first day of spring. The 21st goes into Aries season. And um, Mercury does go retrograde the 5th through the 28th. Uh, so there will be communication issues. And, Mer and Mercury will be retrograding all of the water signs this year. So with the dew, um, we're going to choose a crystal for you for the month. And we got Angel. I'm sorry, we got the um, Healing Yourself, the Shamanic Healing, Angel Therapy, Akashic Tarot for the Akashic Records, for my Lightworkers, Lightworker Oracle, Energy Oracles, Romance Angels, Angel Answers, two more Angel Tarot Cards, and the Archangel Power Tarot Cards. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. Um, I have over 100 decks, but only 11 are Angel Cards, and it just happened to be Angels are is number 11. So let's go ahead and bring our Angels and Guides in. Okay, my Aquariuses, two fell out for the first ones. Let's find out what the angels need to uh, let you know about. New beginnings. Archangel Jamel, J-E-R-E-M-I-E-L. And it says, starting a new life, finding your purpose, and forgiving the compassion review of the past. So you're letting go of the past. It's spring. Spring is here. The crocuses are coming up. The tulips are coming up. Gorgeous green grass. You're going to be setting up gardens. You're going to be spring cleaning. You're letting go of the past. Absolutely beautiful. It looks like it's a family issue. You're either moving on with your family or letting go of the past of your family, whatever has happened in your past. So there we go. Archangel Jamal. Hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, my beautiful angels. And um, call upon them and he will definitely help you. The page of Michael. Truthful. Perception, analytical, and blunt. That's my Aquarians. And a new exciting, an exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contacts or documents very thoroughly. Well, it is tax time, so definitely check your taxes before you submit them or hand them into your accountant. Um, could be work. Um, look, you're inventing something new, and it could be Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael is your second chakra, it's your kidneys, the color orange, it's your protective, calling him to protect you from that storm that's a brewing there. Um, so let go of fear, any fear that's going on, it's all new, a new exciting challenge. You're ready, you're up for a challenge, you're, you're, Cap, you're, you're our beautiful Aquariuses. Sorry, I just did Capricorn, but I know you're Aquariuses. So exciting. Okay, my query is March 2019. The star, oh, star card, that's your card. In the regular, in the regular tarot card, the star card is the Aquarian card. Happy times, 
Make positive, op optimistic, long-term plans. You're on the right path. And it's an eight number, seven one. That's an eight. Uh, Archangel jo 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 Joel, J-O-P-H-I-E-L. Jophel? I guess that's a P-H, is it, it counts as an F. Um, so yeah, you're on the right path. The star. Mm -hmm. You are yourself. You're, you got it going on. Bring your stars in, your angels. Always be yourself. Next one, my Aquarians. Meditate brings answers. Yes, meditation. Align all of your chakras. There's some great chakra meditation music on YouTube um, to align those chakras. Call in your angels, your guides, your past lives. Um, family members that's passed on. Um... Everyone can help you. So anything that you're curious about, you want to enlighten yourself, level up, deal about the past, meditation is your answer. They will come to you, and you will have all of your answers that you need. And it calms you too. Okay. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are worth real, real and worth exploring. So my singles, if you like someone out there, go for it. My committed couples, you might have had maybe... You were maybe a little tired of them. You've been together quite a long time, and you need to grow together. This is the person that you're supposed to be with. You do love them. Go ahead and explore that. Keep that relationship alive. So the new singles are going to find someone new, and the couples are going to keep their love alive and romantic. Very nice. Three fell out for this one. So this is very interesting. First card, <gasps> broken heart. But it's number nine, so nines are endings. I don't think you're going to get a broken heart this month. I don't feel that, but it's something from your past. Could be a soulmate. Soulmates could be anybody. Could be a workmate. Could be a schoolmate. It could be you could have lost a pet, um, lost a mate. It could be anything. A soulmate could be twin flame, but you have a broken heart, and it could be just a feeling of past lives, lives that you lived a hundred, two hundred. A millennial ago that you're trying to heal so you're definitely going to heal that meditation will help you heal that and calling in your angels will help you heal that some of you are holding your heart wearing your heart on your sleeve four four number eight infinity so it's going to go over and over you're you are ready for love you're wearing your heart on your sleeve you're ready to fall in love it's March it's beautiful your birthday just got over with and um you're all love and and romance and there's nothing wrong with wearing a heart on your sleeve. Love is the answer. That's the answer to life, in my opinion. Indecision, another number eight. You're going around in your head. You feel like you're trapped. What should I do, left or right? Again, meditation, calling in your angels, calling in your guides, um, your ancestors. They will help you make this decision. You are never by yourself. You always have help. And you have people on this earth, too. So definitely ask for help. Don't hold it all within, my Aquarians. Next. Past life activation. Another number eight. A five and a three and eight. Many eights you have here. So infinity. Over and over and over. Going in your head. Past lives. Future lives. Past life activation. So you're going to have dreams. Past lives are going to come to you. You're going to have an obsession over, I don't know, um, Japanese swords. And you just know that that's your past life. You're going to dream them. You're going to feel them. So embrace that. There's nothing wrong with you. You're not crazy. I love Aquarius is because you are so attached because you're always living different realms. And you're always a little bit different. You always have to have a different hat on or a different hairstyle or a different tie. Or I love that about you. So you're very, very positive. So write down your dreams. Past lives are important. They help heal. And you don't want to re repeat them in future lives every time you come back. Deal with the past and let that go. Kashuk Records, Eight of Keys, another eight. How many eights have you received? Goodness, the master artisan. So you're either the teacher or the, you're the apprentice. Doesn't matter because a master, you're always learning. An apprentice, you're always learning, trying to become a master. So whatever you're doing, if you're a cook, if you're an artist, if um, whatever you're doing, you will master it, but you will keep learning. Fantastic. We'll have to count how many eights you have going on here. Eights are, you're going to see eights too in your everyday life. Two fell out for this one. Books. 
Your life purpose revolves around writing, reading, editing, selling spiritual-based books. Tap into your spirituality. Write down your dreams. Write down your thoughts. Make journals. You might want to write a book someday. Very important. If you want to be a master or stay a student, this will be very important. Books, self-help books, and so forth. Parents. The divine truth is that your parents eternally love you to the best of their ability. The angels are helping you heal from the pain associated with your mother and father or grandparents. So whatever happened in the past, um, let that pain go. They love you. They did the best they could like we all do. We do the best we can. They're, there, they're here for you now. So let that go. They love you and they're being your cheerleaders. And if they've passed on, they're really your cheerleaders. They're, they're with you at all times. Three cards left. Okay, my Aquarian Shamanic. Joy. And it's number six. Everything's in line. Whatever happens this month, it's going to bring you pure joy. Whatever pure joy is to you, could be the littlest thing. It could be the, ring, the song on your ringtone you just love or... Um, you love how your shoes fit your feet. Whatever the joy is, you're going to find pure joy. And you're not going to be by yourself. Okay? It's going to come twofold. Healing. Woo! Sexual arts. Now, this can be many things. Three threes is six. Again, it's all a line. You've got a lot of sixes, a lot of eights. Um, it could be that you're a sexy model and you're modeling. Um, it could be that you... Um, are getting in touch with your 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 adult side. Um, hopefully YouTube doesn't cut me off for this. Um, it could mean that you have found the love of your life and you're with somebody. It could be that something happened in the past and you're healing from that sexual issue that you had or that someone treated you badly. There's a lot of healing going on. I see an angel helping you heal. So you're going to level up this month. Okay. Final one. Ooh, you got two of them. Oh, my goodness. And they're stuck together. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, the, you're the first person to get two of them. So, um, if you have these, great. Put them in your wallet. Put in your purse. Put them in your, your, your vehicle. If not, run by the store. Pick them up. Carry them with you. Research them. Um, or just channel them when you're meditating. Um, uh, you, you can, you can kite. U-N-A-K-I-T-E. Life in the present, heart chakra. So live in the present. Yes, you're dealing with the past and you're trying to heal the past. And you are healing the past. But be present. Wear that heart on your sleeve. Live within your heart. Open up your heart. Um, love again. The past of the past. It will not happen again. Especially if you close the book and you get rid of that contract. You'll never have to deal with it again. Um, your, you know, your heart chakra is your fourth chakra. Angel Castile. Um, K-I-S-S-I-E-L. Definitely call upon her. And actually, I think it's a him. I think it's a her. It's got to be a her. Unconditional love. The color green. Heartache betrayal. Let that go. So, definitely, that's a beautiful stone crystal. Next one. Zebra stone. Compassion and the root chakra. Again, that is um, the angel Ariel. Call upon her. Zebra stone. I've never seen that. Um, so, you know, you got your grounding stone. It's said to be patient, said to be grounding. Again, it's, it's, it's aerial. It's your soul mission. It's a color red. And it's your self will. So those are the two stones you need to pick up, carry with you. Compassion and life presence. So be present, be compassionate. And, um, I love you so much. Thank you, my Aquarians. Love your angels. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.